Hey, I'm Kalash, and I make cool stuff. Today I'm making a disgusting spider, because why not? But before we get to that, I'll make the base. I'm using a 10mm foam core board and cutting some rock shapes into that. I'll also carve out rougher spots and go over everything with a foil ball to give it a rocky texture. I want the base to have stairs, so I carved out brick blocks and textured them the same way as the base. Then those got hot glued together to make some stairs. And I added more foam rocks around the base to make it more interesting. I sanded foam into a round shape and carved out lines so I could make a few simple columns. These also get roughed up a bit and broken on the top parts. I want the base to look like old ruins where the giant spider lives. Many venture there to slay it, but no one has been successful yet. Those got glued on the base and I added a few tiny rocks around them as the debris from them breaking. The foam got covered in a layer of Mod Podge with a bit of black paint. This is to seal the foam and fill in any small seams. Then I went over it with a dark grey and different highlights. Light grey, brown and white. Lastly, I covered everything with a black wash to bring back that old and dirty look. And now it's time to make the spider. I'll make the body first. I'm using some foil and covering that with polymer clay. Then I'll add random bits of clay to make some more interesting shapes. If you hate spiders, I'm sorry for this. I hate them too, but I still wanted to make a cool spider diorama. A few months ago, I actually moved into an attic apartment and new spiders would pop up out of nowhere pretty much every day. And they were big ones. Sadly, they had to be evicted. And by evicted, I mean from this life. Hopefully they will see this sculpture and stay away. Or they might see it as their god and come more often to worship the statue. I'm recording this voiceover after finishing the sculpture and I can already say it's the second option. I finished the sculpture and a new spider showed up on the same day. When I was done with the body shape, I added a few pre-baked spikes and teeth. And also two fangs. For the legs, I'll tie together a bunch of wires. I originally glued them to the body, but they weren't holding well, so I'll make them separately. For the clay to stick better, they get covered with Sculpey Bacon Bond and then polymer clay. Then I added little sections and smoothed them to make the leg segments. The legs are definitely the creepy part of spiders. I felt nothing while making the body, but when I started working on the legs, even though they are not attached to the actual spider, it still felt creepy. I also added some details and texture to the legs. I needed reference pictures to make the spider right, but I mostly looked at drawings or concept arts. Looking at artwork of spiders, no matter how creepy, doesn't give me the heebie-jeebies, but looking at real pictures always creeps me out. Mm. 
The spider got painted black and I went over it lightly with dark red. I guess I was going for a Black Widow inspired look. And then a brighter red for some highlights. The eyes got painted in a bright red. And the legs got a red gradient on the bottom parts. Then I glued both parts together with two-part epoxy glue. These days, I trust it more than super glue. I glaze the eyes and she is ready for her next meal. To make spider webs, I used matte Mod Podge and cotton. I kind of just pulled on it until it looked web-like and added them all over the base. I also made a few simple human bones and covered them with cotton. And then added them to the base. This is one of the most recent unfortunate adventurers. Then I added the spider to the base, and that's it. These people over on Patreon help me make cool stuff, so thank you. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!